Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Mapfix. Got another video for you guys today. And we're going to be talking about some legacy apps. So a customer came in and they're really interested in going back in time where iPhoto, iTunes, Aperture, all of these older apps used to exist, right? Along um, Mac OS and then until Mac OS Catalina came out, then it divided into multiple different apps which depends on how you look at it. I think it's a little bit of a better way to go because now you have Apple Music, you have um, Photos instead of iPhotos, um, which is usually the one that people really are more like, they don't really like, the, they like iPhoto a little bit more than Photos that at least I've seen, especially for more legacy users. They're more interested in that because they can do a lot more stuff on there. But give or take, that's usually what we see coming in here. I see a lot of people who are more interested in that. But it's really interesting. This one actually came in because they want to install iTunes back and uh, iTunes is probably one of my least favorite softwares ever but that's besides the point I don't know but uh, they don't want to use Apple Music they want to do iTunes and now this one has Big Sur uh, obviously by just even the background uh, this Mac was Big Sur on it and this is an older Mac and so it's most likely you know the customer used it before they're very comfortable with it this is a 1398 uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken Mac that has Big Sur on it and they're interested in going back in time and using the legacy apps that they always loved and used from before. So um, we're going to be showing pretty much how to do that today because there is a problem, right? They got rid of it. So how do you really get it back? Um, we're going to be showing you an app that actually does do that. So um, let's get right into it. I'll show you on the screen capture because you don't want to be me holding it and make it look all, hmm, nope, you don't want that. So let me go plug in. Okay, so we have um, Mac OS up here. And... Now, it depends on what you're looking for. This customer, we're going to be just going really into iTunes, which is probably not everyone's favorite, um, obviously, to be going in there. Uh, but I'll, I'll show you. So you can actually go to the support. You can look at downloads here. And we did find there's a download for iTunes. You can see this older one. It's much older one. It's from 2019. I believe this is the last one um, from uh, iTunes, from, Mac, from Apple itself. So you support our Apple, and you can look under the downloads, and it shows an old. If you see, look, it's from February 6, uh, 2018. So if you click that, I actually did click that right, download it. So let's put in the minus there. Now, if I click it, I have the DMG file here on the desktop. And if I double click it, it's going to try to load and it's going to notice that it's there and see that it's there. And then, whoop, oh, you get this prompt that says this update requires macOS version 10.13.99 or earlier. So an old, older OS to really support it. So it's not typically uh, supported by this, right? And if you do this with any other type of software, like if you have, um, iPhoto, if you have anything else, you're going to be getting around the same error. Now, there is a workaround around this, and it's something here that, that we found, and that's not obviously new. Um, it's something that's really been been on the... That's really been uh, very helpful, especially the people on GitHub, right? Uh, if you're not familiar with it, you should definitely go ahead and check it out, but it's called Retroactive, and it's going to help you install. And it says, run Aperture, iPhoto, iTunes on Mac OS Ventura, Big Sur, Catalina. It's pretty much just a way of a workaround for really getting um, these to come out. And it shows you actually how to do it. Um, after installing, double click, it says it might, okay, we'll go over this because just install it if you go here. Um, I'll link this in the description if you guys are interested in doing this. Well, I mean, I guess that's the whole point, right? So when we hit download, sometimes it can block it, sometimes it can't, but uh, I just download it to the desktop. I have it here, it's a zip file. Just going to go ahead and open the zip file. And we have something called Retroactive uh, 2.0. I was at least making this. Uh, I don't know if there's going to be a l later update or something. Um, we're gonna just going to double click it. And it's going to come up. And it's going to say it needs to be a can. Oh, usually, if you have this error, I mean, you might not have this error, but if you do, I'm going to show for, for typical users. It's because there's a block in the security. Um, what you can do is you can go, uh, you need to go to the security and privacy. And you're going to see the last app that actually opened here. It says retroactive, right? Um, so we're going to hit open anyway. And now we're going to go ahead and try it again because it should prompt you again. And now here we go. So it's going to show you, it says uh, how to unlock pretty much uh, the aperture, iPhoto, or installation of iTunes. And now we're going to hit iTunes installer. We don't really care about that. So now we need to authenticate it. So it says to install iTunes for Mac OS Big Sur, you need to authenticate with your login password first. I'm going to do that. Obviously, the customer has their information. I'm not going to show that. Okay, now it's going to go ahead and download it. Um, and we're going to wait. Even though we have the DMG here, we need to get the one. We need to get authenticator that they're doing. So they're going to be doing it automatically. So we'll be right back once it's done downloading, and then it'll extract, 
and then we'll show the install process. But um, even as it's doing this, uh, you saw that it could go through iPhoto, it could go through lots of the old legacy apps as well. If you're interested in doing that, you could pick the one that you want there. So we'll wait for that. I'm gonna go answer that phone call and see what's going on. So download it, and um, I'm just gonna enable it because I'm not sure what the customer's gonna be doing with iTunes. Okay, so we can enable like disk access. Um, just do that, especially if you're using it for certain things, you probably should anyway, it's probably better. So we're gonna go ahead and find iTunes. Hit open. Okay, so I already did open it there. Okay, looks like congr congratulations. You can now use iTunes. It's like that's a good thing, but <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so now we have access. We have iTunes back, and here it's in the dock again. Man, I can't believe I'm actually happy to see that we have this back in the dock. So we'll put this there, and we can right click this one and just remove this from dock because we don't want to use this. Now, um, yeah, so that's really about it. Okay, guys, so that's how you get iTunes or uh, even very similar like older apps like iPhoto and anything else that's more legacy onto your MacBook. Just use that link. Just use this app, the retroactive app. It looks to be pretty good. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please leave a like. Really help us a lot. Subscribe for more content. Uh, just let me know what software you guys are going to actually be using down below. I'm really, really curious to see uh, what legacy ones that you guys would use over the ones that they actually did it and why. Do you guys not like photo? Do you guys just like iPhoto better? More features? What is it? Just let me know down below and see you guys next video. Thanks a lot. Take care. Bye.